you look at the defense, obviously on oh, yeah, comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> when you look at the defense, have you noticed, uh, I guess, any similarities in the struggles that you guys have had, or are you just taking each game as its own entity? Um, I, I mean, obviously we have a base defense, but every game has some wrinkles. Um, we understand that our effort and, and folks has to be there just with the scout and also uh, just rotating and scrambling around out there. Um, but, but yeah, like we're, we're, we're noticing some similarities and then also obviously some differences. Of the similarities, I mean, what have been constant issues that you guys are looking to work on and, and shore up? I mean, when I've talked to people, like, I, you know, I hear the word trust coming up, which is, you know, obviously helping the helper is a huge part of it. Yeah, I mean, I think that goes into just the rotations of it all. Um, you know, I think we have a great group of guys. I think the guys genuinely like each other. Um, just got to, you know, be out there making every every sacrifice play that we possibly can with a high level of folks and intensity. With you guys switching as much, how much is that maybe affecting some of the trust? Oh, you mean not switching as much? Not switching, but I mean like switching different coverages. Like oh, oh, switching coverages. Oh, okay. Um, no, I mean, I don't, I don't think that uh, necessarily – messes up the, the trust that you have in, in a human being, right? You just understand that obviously, you know, with, with every new wrinkle, everybody has to be that much sharper, that much on point. And so, you know, sometimes people make mistakes and, you know, it's a it's a, it's a human game. There There's there's error out there. Um, as much as we'd like to play perfect, uh, you know, unfortunately, we're, we're not able to. I guess more like the trust, like I was saying, more, I meant more like the trust in the new team, trusting that everyone's going to be in a certain position things like that because it's still kind of new. Yeah, no, it's, it's new, but I think, you know, uh, JV and our coaching staff have put in long hours of, you know, analyzing different schemes, both offensively and defensively, and they're trying to put us all in the best position to succeed. And, and so we have a, a great amount of faith in that. And then, you know, like I said, there's a certain level of human error that, that happens in, you know, what's effectively real reality uh, television, right? Keeping it a buck, I mean, you guys have a lot of really good accomplished defensive players yeah. on this roster. I mean, guys that are either whatever, DP, OY candidates or, you know, plus defenders. Are you surprised that we're this deep into the season and that end of the court hasn't really gelled yet? Um, I mean, I guess, you know, but uh, if, if anything, it bodes well that it, that it will um, at some point gel together. Um, again, you have Mikhail, CJ, Nick, Doe, Royce, Dennis Smith, um, the, the big bulk of our rotation that are phenomenal defenders. So, you know, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, I have confidence they'll figure it out and, you know, uh, it, it'll, all, it'll all work out. How do, you, how do you tap into the mental wherewithal? So you guys have all been through different things throughout the course of your career, but like during this 10 games stretch, how do you do that against obviously a challenging New Orleans team that's been playing really well? well I mean, right now, every opponent's challenging <laughs> uh, with the way we're playing uh, and the points we're giving up. So, you know, we, we have to stay focused, locked in, committed. We understand it's a tough stretch just in terms of the density of games, um, the back-to-backs and things because of the Paris trip and having that week. So. Um, we, we, we can't afford to uh, take any opponent lightly, and I think there's just a constant level of uh, uh, focus that we need to have. On a different note, Jalen obviously has been playing a little bit on that the previous road trip, and he, get, he got more chances in the Bucks game. Just what have you seen from him in terms of readiness and just how he's able to kind of like fit in a little bit more seamlessly with his experience or date? Yeah. yeah, I mean, he's, he's a mature guy. Spent, you know, what, four years in college. Um, obviously very accomplished, um, kind of comes in already with a clear identity of how he can help the group in terms of the offensive rebounding and the hustle plays and stuff like that. So it makes it a more seamless transition when you already have a, a kind of defined skill um, uh, that you're coming in to do every night versus figuring it out. So, you know, credit to him and his maturity and his growth both in college and, uh, you know, in the early parts of his NBA career.